rage quitting over inventory items, and a player throwing a tantrum over a villain who's too sympathetic. So if you liked the video, be sure to give me a like and subscribe, and let's get into it. This is Taylor's Tavern Tales, and let's get into the RPG Reddit Horror Stories. Player is furious that my BBEG is too sympathy inducing. Hey folks, hope you're having a good day. Also, forgive me for any of my mistakes in grammar. English is not my native language. I'll try to keep this short. I've been DMing for a group for roughly two years now, and due to my style of DMing, which involves lots of foreshadowing, clues, etc., they have now just met the BBEG. The thing is, when I was creating the particular fellow, I wanted to try something different from my usual. This particular villain has one wish, and one wish only. He wishes to die. Due to some circumstances, he is cursed with immortality. Yeah, we've all heard that story before, but I've never actually run such a story. I've always viewed immortality as the worst curse one can have upon oneself. To see everyone you've ever connected with crumble and disappear, to witness funeral after funeral, to never truly allow yourself to feel love or be loved, for it will be ephemeral. And in the end, only you would stand, living if you can call that a life. But why is he a villain, you ask? His life is painful, his existence is suffering, he wishes it to end and will do anything in his power to do so. He has tried many ways, but none really worked. Now he will try the ultimate way. He will bring down the realm, he will destroy everything, for when it's all gone, he hopes he will be as well. I thought it would be an interesting narrative and story to have a less power-hungry villain. So we've been building it up for over these two years. Now they have finally faced him and learned about his ultimate goal, his reasoning, his pain. This happened last session, and we ended on a cliffhanger when they learned about it. The problem arose when we ended the session, which I thought was absolutely amazing. One of my players became absolutely pissed. He started to shout angrily with words that I will not write down here, as I'm sure they will not fit the sub. He he claimed that I was running D&D for them, that villains should be villains, that he shouldn't play to feel sympathy for his enemies. He claimed that I was an absolute a-hole for trying to make them feel pity for someone they should defeat. And things really escalated, even though I tried to de-escalate the situation. My other players tried to reason with him, saying that it was a good story and all that, but he was having none of it. Truth be told, I've never seen someone that angry before, which honestly did make me slightly taken aback. He left my house where we host our game, almost storming out. I apologized to the players who remained there and told them that this was not my intention. They seemed to have enjoyed the story and not really bothered by it, but the situation is sour to say the least. Considering that I should just stick with one of the run-of-the-mill cartoon villains, which honestly isn't what I like, but I don't want to go through something like this again. Well, this is my story, and I'm sure it's not as horrifying as some out there, but well, it really did a number on my self-confidence as a DM. Cheers, folks. TLDR, a player got furious because the BBEG had a very sympathetic story and stormed out after cussing me out, which left the mood of our table souring. So I'm gonna be real with you, my camera just died after I went on a huge rant about this story, um, and I lost all of that footage, so I am filming it again. As I said before, OP, please don't stop creating amazing characters like this. This is why role-playing games were created, to actually role-play and create characters and use your imagination, because that's what's so, so fun about it. Now, I understand that this player who through a tantrum, that wasn't his playstyle. He likes a playstyle where everything is right or wrong, or good or evil. No shades of gray, which is fine. People can like whatever they want to like. However, it is not okay to literally throw a tantrum and cuss out your DM because, mm, I don't like the BBEG. No, that is completely immature and that is not okay. This is when we have to actually have an open dialogue and this player should have actually communicated that, hey, I'm not a huge fan of villains like like this because I don't like to sympathize with the bad guy. But of course he didn't have the emotional maturity to do that. So he just threw a tantrum and cussed out the DM. Which is not the vibe. Hey, not the vibe. And OP, please continue creating characters like this. This is so good and I love characters like this. It just shows that you put a lot of effort into your stories and you like to put a lot of thought into your characters, which is awesome and I love that style of D&D. So from me, from a random person on the internet, please don't stop creating characters like this and don't take this player's criticism seriously because I don't think you should take a player's criticism seriously if they cuss you out. Just my take, OP, please continue to be a DM and don't take it personally. Well, I think I'm gonna move on to the next one. It's another DM controlled my character rage quit. 
Good hair edition. Many moons ago, when I was getting back into IRL tabletop after the coof, I joined a new local game store. We had a player whose PC had incredibly long hair and stored all of their stuff in said hair. This isn't simple Fabio hair. This is the stuff that makes Bayonetta weep at night. This wasn't unusual because someone had a fighter whose sword was a Daki Makura. What was unusual was when another player started asking about the rules about storing stuff in their hair. This turned into a table spanning discussion for what had to be six minutes before the DM put his foot down, said something to the effect of, guys, this isn't even relevant to the story, let's get moving along. Wrong answer. Even though he didn't say it in a mean way, player stares at the GM for the longest time. When we get to her turn, she's still staring. We all think it's a joke because she did the same thing in an in-universe conversation to the rogue, trying to have a hair down with her, until she doesn't respond to anyone for a few minutes. She finally gets up, says the GM invalidated her character, and leaves in a huff. We're even more silent. The rest of the session went well enough, though. Later, I found out another guy at the table had to quit because she tried to fight him, over Discord, thankfully, over not giving players sufficient warning that entering a specific area with high-level monsters could kill them. The GM in question specifically warned the group at the start. She wasn't even DMing, too. Apparently, she was reading the IC posts. TLDR, LMAO, it's not that long, read it. Or don't, and complain about having to read text on a website. Um, I think we've got a Redditor right here. At the start, I was on OP's side, but then it just started to get kind of off. I know this story isn't about OP, but like, it just feels kind of iffy to me, you know? I'm not saying that what this girl did wasn't kind of off too. I'm just saying that OP is just giving off vibes, you know? Especially from the TLDR. I'm also just gonna take a second here to kind of dive a little bit deeper into the story. Now, I don't know, obviously, but maybe it sounds like this player is a little bit socially unaware or a little bit sensitive about their characters. It seems like she took the comment very hard. Honestly, this whole situation just feels off too. What I'm going off of from the story, this whole situation feels like there's a lot of different personalities clashing together. Like I said, I could be wrong, but I'm just kind of getting those vibes just from the story. And obviously this isn't from her perspective, it's from OP's perspective, who I also think is a little bit off. I just hope everybody finds a new group and, you know, gets to play their own way and feels validated in their own opinions. Well, I think I'm gonna leave it here for now. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give me a like and subscribe and turn on that post notification bell. And if you wanna support me and the channel, become a YouTube channel member or sign up for my Patreon for as little as $1 a month. And speaking of channel members, thank you so, so much, David Everett. I appreciate you so, so much. I'm so happy to have you here and I appreciate you. And if you wanna become a patron or a channel member, links are somewhere on the screen or down below. And the Crit Awards are coming up, so if you wanna nominate me for best up and coming YouTube creator, the links are down in the description along with my other socials. Well, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.